I'm Chancellor Agard at Entertainment Weekly's Comic-Con 2018 studio, and I'm here live on Facebook with the cast of The Magicians. Welcome, guys. Hey, yeah. thank you. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. So I hear that we're your first interview of the day so far? Yes. yes. First interview of the day, yeah. we never spoke. Oh, really? Yeah, this speaks my first words of the, of the morning. Yeah. How do they feel in the mouth? How do uh, <laughs> convoluted. <laughs> Well, I mean, so thank you guys for coming by. I mean, so season, f well, guess season three ended on such a bonkers twist with everyone losing their memories. Mm -hmm. I guess, can you tell us, like, where do we start, I guess, this season, pick up? And we start right where we left off, yeah. uh, technically. Uh, Everyone's and uh, memory has been erased and replaced with a new uh, life that they recall. A new, they've been, these people have been placed in other bodies. Yeah. Except for Alice. Mm -hmm. Alice is oh, yeah. the only one who's still Alice, and she is still in jail. <laughs> <laughs> How's she dealing with that? I mean... Um, well, I can't get into too many details, but, you know, Alice makes the best of everything. And she, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not really, does. actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's what um, people say about Alice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's dealing with the, some, some guilt of what happened at the end of season three. Ha does she get any visitors apart from Fog, or is just... Oh, I can't say. Oh. Really? Is that a spoiler? Oh, damn. Okay, then. Well, you guys are all playing new characters. Well, the three of you are playing new characters, I guess. Uh, what, if anything, can you say about these new characters that um, that wasn't sort of seen in those brief clips at the end? Janet does not have bangs. Ooh, that, was not, that was not a choice that we stuck with. She <laughs> did at the end of the season, but that's not happening anymore. Breaking news. Um, and it's been that's retitled to Go Ask Alice. That's the name of the show now. Because she's the only one that remembers. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I was going to title it The Life of Brian. That's right. That's oh, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. What's Brian like? Brian? Uh, Brian's sort of a, a meek, professorial type. Um, is always sort of like wrapped up in, in the business of the day, uh, which is usually grading papers. Right. Um, uh, drinking espresso. Um, it, it, it's an exciting life. He's a real thinker. <laughs> Makes yeah. for great television. Love yeah. the bookstore, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and hail the monster. Yeah, I'm uh, so right. I guess everyone else is wearing other bodies as kind of shields to protect their identities. And uh, I'm Elliot has been infiltrated by this ancient monster who's out to get all of them and more. Uh, yeah, he has a he has kind of like a hit list that he's. Um, going to work through over the course of the season. Interesting. Yeah. And I guess so I guess so for the first episode though I guess is it mostly you and uh Brian or Yeah, me and Brian for a while. Yeah. Just uh bosom buddies, you could say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um on the same subject, uh we have a question, <laughs> a fan question from Carlos Bagos, uh, <clears throat> for all of you I'm assuming, what is your favorite change in your characters since season 1? Start with you, Olivia. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh. So much coffee. Uh, I loved playing Niff and Alice. It's still my favorite version of Alice. So that, for me, was my favorite um, favorite change in character. But I've changed character. My character's changed many times. So, yeah, I can't keep track. I think my favorite is Brian now. Um, <laughs> uh, I, for the first time, you may notice this um, for, for the diehards out there. Um, you'll see Quentin wearing blue jeans for the first time. Uh, he's always worn black pants, so no bangs. That's kind of where it is from. No bangs and, and blue jeans, so it's a wild ride. Ooh, meaningful character changes. <laughs> <laughs> I, these are things we care yeah. about when you have to wear them every day. Yeah. <laughs> and a sunny disposition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't. You go. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh, you know, I struggled to actually differentiate Janet and Margot in the first couple weeks of filming mm -hmm. because I felt a pressure to differentiate them. But then I quickly realized I was being written for exactly the same way. So <laughs> I'm basically Margot, but With without bangs name. and a different wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you have an eye. You have all your eyes. Or do I? Oh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Um, I guess yeah. playing a completely different character is the is the biggest shift that I've seen. Uh, TBD on whether it's my favorite. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, I, that's and so, about that. <laughs> last question. I mean, each season you guys have done some sort of big episode, big 
moment stunt. Do you guys have any idea what that might be this season? If it's another musical episode or something completely different? No. <clears throat> they don't tell us anything. <laughs> I mean, John McNamara threatens to do a musical episode every episode. Every episode. <laughs> so he threatens to turn the whole show into a musical, um, an operetta, if you will. How'd you feel about that? Great. Great. Perfect. That'd be yeah. So much fun. Yeah. It's really hard to shoot the musical episodes, though. They're, they are by far the most it's difficult. De they're demanding. They're very demanding in, in yeah. a short period of time. It's a lot of work. I always wanted to be a piece of cake. It's weird. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All that belting that they have you do. It's <laughs> great. No. <laughs> yeah. I've been gifted. With <laughs> I feel like at the end of each one of our seasons, we have, you know, the, the finales of our show is always very big and always very surprising. Mm -hmm. and, and they don't tell us what that's going to be till we get the script a week before. So we're always in the dark as how far we're going to go. There's an episode I'm really excited to shoot, um, but that I can't actually tell you about, but that delves well, into some pretty specific information that we haven't yet um, explored on the show. Interesting. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, for more <laughs> EW coverage, please visit our website, and the Magicians will be back in 2019.